Welcome to the 12th video in this Excel for Stock Market series where we publish 30 videos about 30 different Excel templates in 30 days. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about exponential moving average. In the last couple of videos, we talked about the simple moving average as well as the weighted moving average. And one of the criticisms of those is that it completely ignores the history beyond a certain point. And so that's where the exponential moving average comes in. So let's go to the concept first. Um, this is a little bit more involved than the previous two videos. So I'm going to you know, skip a few things to keep it simple. But what I want you to be aware of is the, the exponential moving average. Let's look at the formula here first. Exponential moving average is today's value. So let's say for March 26th, the closing price was $236.48. Now that's today's price value as of now. Now, you have to multiply that by some multiplier value and you can just imagine as a multiplier as how much weight should we be giving to today's value and that's what it is plus yesterday's value yesterday's ema keep in mind that this is the yesterday's exponential moving average which is this cell here um, let me maybe highlight it in a different color so it's clear um, so let me do it in green. So the green cell is yesterday's exponential moving average value. So we want to give some weight to the yesterday's value. So the point here is that today's value is given a certain weight. Yesterday's exponential moving average is given the remaining weight. And when you add them up together, you get today's exponential moving average. Now the multiplier, which is like how much weight do I give to today's value is depending on a couple of um, parameters. It is based on the multiplier is based on the length, like how many how many periods are you looking for calculating exponential moving average? One of the common ones is 12, 12 period exponential moving average. So I'm just putting 12 and then a smoothing coefficient is used. I think the, the ones I've seen when I was reading the book and other places, is just the common one is two. So if you take two as a smoothing effect, uh, coefficient divided by one plus 12, you get 0.154, rounded to three decimals. So in effect, what this is saying is, if we assign today's value 15.4% importance and yesterday's EMA gets one minus, uh, you know, 100 minus 15.4, uh, it is 84.6, I think. So if you give 84.6% to yesterday's exponential moving average and 15.4% value to weight to today's value, and then you add them up, you get the total new exponential moving average. So that is what we have calculated here. We, um, again, we've just implemented here what the formula says, but keep in mind that when your length changes, your multiplier also changes and that is how depending on different windows of time you're looking at you, you you are giving different weights to today's value and yesterday's ema okay so we don't have to get too technical here but what i want you to take away from here is that we are considering yesterday's ema and giving some weight to it and if you go to yesterday's ema that would have uh, depended on previous EMA. And if you keep going, your entire history plays a role in today's EMA. So that was the criticism of the simple moving average and the weighted moving average because they ignored the history beyond the length we are looking at. But this formula takes care of that and says, no, we are also considering even the entire history in order to determine today's value. Agreed, Whether the more you go, you know, the weight may be reduced. However, we're not ignoring it. That's the point. So that's the major takeaway. Exponential moving average considers um, the entire history, um, which the other two averages do not. I think I've said that very more, uh, more often than I need to, but hopefully that message is clear. Now let's move on to how our template will actually make this calculation easy. All you have to do now in the in our template is that you just go and type in your symbol, uh, stock symbol. So I'm going to go with um, Tesla and I typed in XNAS colon TSLA because Tesla may be in multiple um, exchanges. So I want to see the Nasdaq. So I typed it in and now immediately you saw within a second, I got the data updated and this is coming live from the Microsoft Excel service. So if you have the 365 subscription, 
uh, plan or you can also use the free excel for the web product and now it actually uh, will pull the data from the service there so right now the um, the information that we are seeing is as of 4 59 pm april 1st um, from um, the service and you can see the blue line is the price um, the source here and then the orange line is the exponential moving average it's automatically calculated for us we can also see a three month history there we go you can do one year history uh, and then we can also change this from a daily measurement to a weekly interval or even a monthly interval so again very flexible um, template to um, customize the chart according to your need now there are a couple of input parameters to this the ema length can be um, so for example the default is 12 but if i want to look at 26 period exponential moving average all i do is type and you saw that the line changed a little so let's say i go 52 period so now you see that the line is getting smoother and smoother and um, uh, it is less likely to fluctuate wildly uh, if you have a much longer window so i'm going to go back to 12 and now you'll see a lot more um, points there so let's narrow down a little bit here and let's look at what those red circles and the green triangles mean those are the buy and sell signals so the red signal uh, is a selling point which means the value crossed over from above the yeah, orange line the blue line went from above the orange line to below the orange line that's a sell signal which means um, it's a downward trend so it's something that you would consider as the price is going in the wrong direction down direction so now it's something that you want to sell because it may go even further down the other um, point is the green triangle where the the price value goes from below the orange line which is the moving average line to above then that's a positive signal so i have listed here my criteria for what the buy and sell signals are uh, the strategy uh, rules are you can also use this template to calculate not just the closing price but you can also see other options like open price high price i can try to do volume and so this is the trading volume the most common one used is close, but you have flexibility here as well. So that's the purpose of this video. We, we saw what exponential moving average concept is and then how you can use our template to calculate it and how you can it's more fle it's flexible and dynamic to uh, an interactive for you to play with and come up with your own strategy uh, around how to use the exponential moving average. In tomorrow's video, we will talk about another technical indicator. And uh, if you have any suggestions for other topics to cover in this series, please put them in the comments below. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you think the content is useful and helpful, please share with your friends. And I will see you all tomorrow in another video. Thank you very much for watching.